So yesterday I decided to make a build video and I thought this time around we would focus a little bit more on AR. This build will work greatly for rifle and I will show you like, like the best way to put it together and also if you miss some crucial pieces how you can put it together. One will be AR focused and one will be rifle focused. And this build is just extremely good against Black Tusk. Of course it's also good against the rest but specifically against the Black Tusk it just shines. I will show you the build, I will show a solo heroic mission against Black Tusk with live commentary. If that sounds interesting, then let's get started. Alright, so let's check this AR slash rifle build out. So this is how it looks like. Pretty similar to other builds that are used, right? Using the same concept with uh, Providence, Seska, Overlord Knees and like LMG gloves. Of course, we are using Fenris Hespis here for the AR version. If you only want to play rifles though, you could swap the Fenris for a Providence. If you lack one of these named items right here, you could swap one of those to Grupo. So this build revolves around the Vigilance, as you probably are aware of right now, and also with the Spotter. Since they changed with how the scope works, it's kind of annoying to use Focus, so I think Spotter is a great alternative. It gives you amplified damage, which is multiplicative, so it's quite a lot of damage you get. And as you can see, I don't use a pulse because we're using the technician tree. So we get this uh, laser pointer. This is on slow loading. So we get this linked laser pointer. So basically, when you aim at a target, it gets pulsed. We lose some crit chance here though, but I mean, obviously what we gain is just way better. And then we use the shield. Works really good with vigilance. And then, of course, since we use Technician, we do get one skill tear for free. If we take a look at the Technician tree here, we have some pretty good stuff here. So, we have Amp tear, which is plus one skill tear, which is really, really good. Then we have Dismantling, which is 12% damage to drones, skill proxies, and robotics. So, really good against Black Tusk dogs. Something that's also really good with Technician, if you play against Black Tusk, is this one right there. Faraday Field. Party members within 5 meters of your deployed and undisrupted skills are immune to shock and disruption. So if you don't want to get shocked or EMP or anything, just put down the revive hive and then pick it up after the effect is gone. Especially if you kill a robot dog, he will EMP you right, so you put down the revive hive, the EMP goes and then you just pick it up again and you don't lose your shield for example. And here we have the linked laser pointer. Other than that, I mean, we have EMP grenades, armor kit. The rest is not that special, but that's mainly what I wanted to point out there. So this means we're gonna have a weight tanker shield because we get 40% uh, shield health. Comparing that to using, for example, if you don't want to use focus, you could use glass cannon, which means your shield is just gonna take double the damage. And this is like just way tankier version. So if we take a look at the gun here, something really important that you need to have a gun that, that have a long underbarrel rail. For example, the, the C-Tar, which have a side slot, or the FAMAS that have a short underbarrel rail, they can't use this laser, which I find really annoying. And when they released this, I mentioned this to them and like, yeah, this is dumb. It should work on like every laser in my opinion, but that didn't change. So pretty sad that I can't use my FAMAS for this, but it works for most guns here. We have the MK16, which is the best AR I have. I'm using Strain, which is pretty damn good for this one because the rate of fire is so low, so you get a lot of value for this. Then I roll damage to target out of cover, which is the best like in slot attribute right here, which you guys should probably be aware of right now. And then we have a classic M1A, and this one have a long underbarrel rail, so you can use the link laser pointer. So if you want to use this with like two M1As, then you could just swap yeah, the Fenris for Providence, as I said. If you want to do like an easier AR version, I guess you could swap one of the named items for Grupo and another Providence. If you're going to use Seska and Grupo though, make sure that those are on either the holster, gloves or knee pads, because those two doesn't have a red mod slot. If you really want to and you don't have everything, you could mix in and use the, the Yal mask. It only have 10 health damage now though, so I feel like it's not as good. But if you know you're gonna fight a lot of health damage, then sure, you could use that mask. If we look at the, the gear here though, it's just gonna be a full red build. Weapon damage, which is crit focused, so crit chance and crit damage on almost every slot. 
Trying to aim for that 60 critical hit chance, which is the cap. Using the contracted gloves here, which is still like best in slot for gloves. 8% da damage to armor is still like really, really good because it's amplified damage. Same with the fox sprayers here, 8% damage to target out of cover. So that's how we're rocking. Then, of course, as I said earlier, we're using the shield to get that survivability. Works really good with technician. And then having the revive hive just adds survivability and with technician it works pretty well just because you can put it down to get that uh, to get that faraday field so you don't get the impede or shocked or whatever and you just pick it up again if we take a look at the stats here we have 60 critical hit chance 137 critical hit damage and 95 headshot damage i do have some coming from the watch here as you can see here so 10 crit chance and 20 and 20 on headshot and critical hit damage. Almost 100% uh, all weapon damage with 40 AR damage. But yeah, that's kind of where the build is at. But yeah, that's how the build looks like. I guess I didn't talk too much about weapons, but of course you could use like a glory days. I kind of forgot to mention. But this one used a long underbarrel as well. I know a lot of people love this gun. I personally don't. But yeah, you can definitely use this one for this build. Police M4. Like whatever you want to use. Just make sure it have a long underbarrel. And use whatever talent you like. I would probably prefer strained. Especially if you have a slow fire rate of fire gun. Like this. I think I'm going to get a lot of value from that. Otherwise like using something like fast hands works too. But I don't think it's that needed for AR though. Okay, so maybe we check out the Camp White Oak a little bit. I might play the full mission and I just cut out some parts here. We will see. Probably not though. But yeah, the AR especially should shred this one super fast here. Yeah, pretty good. Because we have the health damage. Health damage, right? Which works extremely well against the uh, robots. Tanks. And yeah, especially the technician is really good against robots. Because you get 12% extra damage. Because of the tree. So this is not invaded actually. Maybe this is a bit faster than the normal one. I think invaded, especially at least the first part here, have way more NPCs. So maybe we can run the full mission anyway. I think we can swap to M1A here try to get a mix of both because the build obviously it works with both so yeah you can see they get pulsed or <laughs> i don't know i guess i can't aim so used to like zooming in and out <laughs> because of focus Come, come, come. So I have Rifleman right now, but of course you could use Boomerang. Even Ranger, I guess. Here is like when we should use the AR though. But as I said, if you use Rifle like this, you could just use Providence instead of Defenders. I know a lot of people like AR, so I thought I would just... Uh, just show this build with AR. But yeah, adding a Providence into the mix would give you more crit damage for sure. So it would be stronger. But let's mainly play with AR. Like I'm pretty sure everybody knows uh, M1A works. Oh, AR feels so good to use though. I wonder how much we are getting from strain here actually. Because you can't stop firing if you use strain because then you will lose the buff, right? So you gotta just full out of that, hold the button, never stop. But even if you don't get like 50 crit damage all the time, like getting like 20, 30 crit damage in like one second, two seconds, like that's a lot of damage. Especially thinking that with technician and we do have some survivability, right? Okay, there's definitely less NPCs in the in normal compared to invaded. That's a robot dog. Get melted. And then you would turn this one down like that. Um, I 
then pick it up. Of course, uh, he wasn't in radius though. But that's a way how to not get hit by the status effect. But yeah, good survivability for a full red build, right? And we're still pumping out a lot of damage. And there we have a tank. Can I hit his weak point? Okay, I guess I couldn't. We have EMP grenades. Hit that one. We just hit him right in the body. Actually hit that one. I mean, perfect scenario. You have a teammate there and you can just shoot him in the... On the backpack, and just instantly damage him. Especially having all the self damage, that would be really, really good. I probably play the full mission, and we will see. We'll see how much gets in the video. Depends on how much I talk during <laughs> the playthrough. Because if I talk too much, then I can't cut it out. Should probably cut that part out, though. <laughs> Yeah, AR always feels so good to play, man. Even though MK is, like, not my favorite. AR, it just feels good, dude. There's so little NPCs. It's actually crazy. Is there two Robot Dogs here? No, is that only on Invaded? Huh. It would have been more fun to do this on an Invaded, but it was not available. I just really wish you could use FAMAS with this, but then again, like using this MK here, it's pretty good because we get so much more effective use from strained. Since we shoot so slow, right? So low rate, rate of fire is not always bad. We hit harder per shots and we keep more strain, like it's pretty good for this... Uh, for this right here. Like, especially for PV. Like, you don't want to reload all the time like you do with a FAMAS. Uh, Rush B. So, I think there's a tank and a dog here. I'm not sure. At least on Invaded there is. I don't know about the normal version here. It seems to not be the case. I really wish it was on Invaded. It would have just been way better. Because more fun NPCs, because that's like kind of where this build shines. Well, why am I in such a bad scenario now? Like that guy in the back with grenades. How fast can we kill that dog though? Pretty freaking fast. But yeah, this build just slays dogs and tanks. And those guys too that like don't have any armor. Just destroys health. Let's uh, use some M1A. We haven't used that much at all. Of course, it's not optimal for, for rifles since we could use one more probe, but still, I mean... Shit works. <laughs> As you can see. Okay, let's hit this boss though. Watch the helicopter. Okay. So we finished it up with M1A. Kind of fool myself when you... When you get them pulsed, right? Because you see them so much clearer, which like makes me believe that they are not in cover. That's a dog. 
Who let the dog out? Damn, I hit the floor quick. Is there a guy here? I don't know. Oh shit, now we missed the helicopter. Hello. Exotic, dude. <laughs> That's perfect for the video. We get the exotic. Hey, beat this you gloves. Not sure if I have better ones. We're gonna pick those up. I think that's a perfect way to end the video. But yeah, that's gonna end this video. I hope you guys uh, found the video useful and enjoyed this build. I wasn't really thinking about making a build, but yesterday I was like, screw it, dude. I want to make a build video and I was... And I think this is just a good way for you guys that... And I think this is just a good way to play after focus got changed. Probably a lot of you guys are already playing this build maybe or similar builds. But I haven't played much Division 2 lately myself as you probably are aware of. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, see you guys in the next one.